Until now, we've used Gecko to control software synthesizers and effects. But obviously, you can control external synthesizers and effects in the same way. The only thing you have to have is a MIDI interface that is connected to your computer, or a synthesizer and effect that has a USB connection straight to the computer. So what I have here is my Slim Fatty that is connected uh, over USB to my computer, and it will expose a MIDI interface. So to connect Gecko to that, I go to the File Document Settings, and I select Slim Fatty in the output board. And this means that any MIDI that Gecko is generating will be sent to the Slim Fatty. Now, um, most external synthesizers, they have no MIDI learn capabilities. So how do you know uh, how to connect the, the Gecko features to, to, to the synthesizer? So you use the manual of your synthesizer in which you usually have a MIDI section. And this is a, a page of the MIDI section of the Slim Fatty manual. And you can see that I've got the features of the synthesizers here uh, in the columns to the left with the MIDI CC messages in this column here. So let's now say that I want to control the filter overload of this sound. And I can see that it's controlled by MIDI CC 18. So again, I'm going to use the hand up down position for my right hand when it is open. And the only thing I have to do is select MIDI CC 18 here. And as I play, I will overload the filter. Um, another example, let's say that I want to control the filter cutoff, which is 19. So I'm going to tie that to my hand closed position. And I'm always going to give it, uh, let's say, I'm going to give it a little data offset here. And I'm going to give it a rest value also. And as I... And as I play now, I can use both at the same time. So, I can save this now as a Gecko document. And what happens is that it will actually remember which external synthesizer it was connected to. So this MIDI output port from the document settings will be saved together with the document that you stored on your hard drive. So, if you quit Gecko, and you double click on this document, it will automatically reconnect to that synth. And any other document that would connect to another synth will appropriately have Gecko switch towards it. But it goes further than that. Gecko is actually quite smart about it. So let's say that you're setting up for a live gig and you um, start your computer up with this document that loads automatically. So what I'm doing now is I'm disconnecting the USB cable from uh, my Slim Fatty, meaning that the MIDI output port is not available to Gecko. So if I go to document settings, you can see that it's actually empty. It's not there. There is no uh, Slim Fatty output port. However, even as I connect the Slim Fatty later on, so I'm now plugging in the USB cable, Gecko will automatically reconnect. <laughs> So this takes away a lot of the headaches that you might have when preparing for a live setup because you don't have to worry about the order of connections to be able to set up your computer and your external synthesizers. You just connect it any which way you like and everything will work correctly.